You know, the story of Romeo and Juliet is a classic, a timeless classic, if you will. So, as a result, it has been uh, remade in many different genres. Now it is being remade in what Hollywood likes to do as genre bending, okay? <laughs> so that it's a mix of a couple. Does the mix work in this one? Cinematic class is about to begin. Your professor is in. Greetings, salutations, another sundry affair. I am your cinematic professor and the purveyor of truth in movies. And tonight's lesson plan is a movie called Die in a Gunfight. Essentially, what you have here is a retelling, modern-day retelling, of the story of Romeo and Juliet, two star-crossed lovers who happen to belong to warring families. Now, we don't have the uh, uh, warring in the medieval times, <laughs> you know, that type of thing, sword fights in the street. Right? But instead, what we have are two media mogul families who war against one another. This obviously takes place back in a time when newspapers were vi viable and uh, the newspapers uh, conglomerates are going after one another. And uh, the warring of these two media moguls goes all the way back to the Old West. So it's tried and true. So naturally it falls uh, for Ben, the one family, <laughs> to fall in love with the daughter of the other family. And that's when all the problems uh, certainly begin. You know, this movie is kind of eclectic because it starts off uh, playing pretty much for laughs. There are quite a few chuckles in the in the beginning, but it, it takes a twist and it takes a, a sour turn and becomes rather deadly serious, and uh, deadly is probably the best word to use. And as a result, although the entire movie can be categorized as a rom-com, it's... Uh, it's a kind of a downer of a wrong call. Let me give you the names of some of the people involved in this. Ben, who initiates all this by falling in love, is uh, played by Diego Veneta. His love interest is Alexandra Daddario, and I know there's probably a lot of guys out there that don't blame him for that. Justin Chatwin is in this, and so is Billy Crudup. It was written by Andrew Barr and Gabriel Ferrari. And I think the two of them, I get the impression one wanted to go light, one wanted to go heavy, and the two of them kind of clashed. And you'll see it in the end. It doesn't doesn't quite work out that well. Very sketchy ending for a rom-com. Director was Colin Shafili. And, you know, Colin must really be an admirer of Guy Ritchie because Die in a Gunfight is filled with all of the elements that Guy Ritchie loves to use in his movies, all the way up to the, you know, the flashing names coming up and the, the split screens for two characters talk, all of the little, uh, he even throws in just a tad bit of Tarantino when he throws in a little bit of uh, animation to try to help the story uh, move along. So, a big rip from Guy Ritchie in style and technique with a little bit of Tarantino thrown in. And what you have is a rom-com Probably would have been played better for as a, as, a, as a black comedy, what they call a black comedy. Uh, and as it is now, as a rom-com, it's kind of a fair to Midland. And now that you have learned what you have learned, you're under your lesson.